Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson, and in this video I'm going to go through how I use Apple Keynote uh, in my Final Cut projects. So in order to create, you know, animated slides, uh, you can actually create, um, you know, these slides as a movie, as a .mov file, which allows you to import it into, you know, your Final Cut project so that you can create very professional and, um, you know, animated slides. Uh, I find this process, uh, I guess, much smoother than, you know, using just the title kind of packages. Sometimes if I want to have more control of the layout, uh, using Keynote is, I think, a great alternative. Definitely, it's just a skill, I think, that a lot of videographers, you know, if they're doing more business-type videos or more promotional-type material, uh, could, I think, benefit from using Keynote. So in this video, I'm just going to show you some of the tips that I've been learning from this course I recently finished. Uh, and I've learned how to maybe lay it out, you know, from a design kind of uh, lens. So in this video, I'm just going to show you some simple tips of how you can use uh, these Keynote slides, how I kind of animate them using simple kinds of blur effects and also just uh, different kinds of effects that you can apply to you know, both the titles and also the images. And then I'm also going to show you how you can export that and then import it into your Final Cut project. So in Keynote, what you're going to do is you're going to open up Keynote and um, what I've done is I've created a series of slides that I've used for another video. And what uh, you want to do is, you know, you can obviously um, animate and uh, customize the slides the way you want. Uh, but here's just an example. Uh, so let's just look here. If I wanted to animate this, what I would do is I would click on the element. And in this case, I have it as blur. And here I've set uh, the Sony a7 IV logo as a fade and scale. And then this picture uh, background, I think actually just stationary the way it is. I'm going to play this slide. What it's going to look like is the picture's going to be here. And then it's going to slowly, you know, animate in. And what you can do is you can build the order of the slides. So the way, you know, the sequence of events in terms of how it animates. So that's the way you do that. So you can move this around. You can change the order. And um, I definitely would point you towards uh, this uh, training program that I just finished. Uh, she goes through, you know, various um, ways to um, animate and to create slides in Keynote. Uh, so definitely check her out in terms of getting the best out of Keynote. Uh, but in this example, I just wanted to show you that if you want to add slides to Final Cut Pro, what you're going to do is you're going to design these elements within Keynote. You're going to animate them in terms of a sequence, in terms of how they animate. So again, this is another example. So here it just starts, you know, with the blur effect, and then it ends with, um, you know, the pictures. And then the second step is how you export, you know, the Keynote. Uh, slides and so in this case what you're going to do is you're going to go to movie so this is kind of powerful because you can actually create um, you know animated movies um, you know 4k videos you know in ProRes uh, let's say here 23 frames per second uh, into Final Cut so what you're then going to do is you're going to drop the slides the movie into uh, Final Cut and this way you can you know chop up and um, you know Let's say you just want to choose this part. You, you just you know, cut it, and um, that would be your, your video, right? That you can overlay on your video. Um, and you, what I guess a trick is you can do is you can change the you know the pace of the the animation. So let's say that you you know did animate it in Keynote, but it's just a bit too you know slow. That way you can just click you know um, a segment. And then in Final Cut, you can change, you know, the speed of the clip. So, so this allows you to, you know, overlay these elements, these keynote presentations into your videos. 
and I would say it gives you a very powerful way to customize you know various um, you know animation and slides uh, in your videos so uh, that's just a simple way that I walked you through using Keynote in Final Cut Pro. So if you guys like this video please like and subscribe thanks and have a great day.